Yo, what up? This is Dash, a.k.a. <coughs> the Dash Devil. <coughs> From the Netherlands, and this is my tutorial on how to do the tongue clap. The tongue clap, yes, another technique for the tongue for use in beatbox. This time you can use it in a beat uh, more easily than the water drop, that is. Um, the tongue clap, what is this technique? The technique sounds like this. Now you may think this is the same technique as you use in Drop It Like It's Hot, which sounds like, <coughs> but exact, uh, that's not exactly right. It's almost the same technique, but there's one crucial difference. Um, what I'm going to tell you in this tutorial is how to do this technique um, and some more secrets on, uh, you know, some more in-depth details that I think you might find interesting. Um, I'm going to tell you how to change the pitch of this technique, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to tell you how to do uh, a water drop using this technique. So you can do a fingerless water drop uh, using this technique, and I'm going to tell you how to put this in a beat. So how to do this technique? Um, I'll first show you with my hands, you know, a bit uh, figurative, figuratively speaking, how to um, uh, do the technique, and then I'll show it with my mouth a close up. I'll try with if uh, if I can if you can see with this light. Okay, um, this my this is my hand, but for now it's my mouth. This is the top of my mouth, and this this is my these are my teeth, right? My front teeth, these teeth. And then you have your tongue right here. So if you do the technique, uh, the drop it like it's hot technique, then you make this movement with your tongue. But you put your tongue up uh, at the top of your mouth, and you build up pressure behind your tongue, and then you let it, let it flick down to the bottom. So it goes, if th these are your bottom teeth now, it goes like. So the m sound is made by um, uh, the, the hitting of the tongue against the bottom of your mouth. The difference is in the beginning of the movement. With this technique, you don't touch the top of your mouth first. You don't let build a uh, pressure behind it to flick it down. You only use muscle strength of your tongue. So you have your tongue here when you start, or even here. And you flick down your tongue like that, on pure muscle power. That's what this technique makes hard. Ma it ma it makes it hard to do this technique because it takes a lot of practice to make your tongue strong enough to be able to do this technique. When you try this technique, uh, stand in front of a mirror, um, look at yourself when you do it. Do I hit the bottom of my mouth? That kind of stuff. Now I'll, I'll try to show you what this looks like inside my mouth. <coughs> I'm extremely sorry for that. Let's focus this one. Because we're going to do a close up. Yeah. Not going to be too close, otherwise, you're going to be able to see in the back of my mouth, which is, which is not very nice, I think. With the drop it like a hot technique, it, sounds, it looks like this. I hope I no, don't spit too much on the webcam here. You see the pressure building up be behind my teeth, uh, behind my tongue. But when I do it the other way, it looks like this. Let's give it a better angle. From the side, maybe. Alright, I hope you 
get the idea now what the technique looks like. So, sorry, I need to refocus this. I'm a cameraman, I care for these kind of things. Okay, so um, that's what the technique sound looks like. You know now how to do it, I think. Or well, maybe you cannot do it yet, but you know what it looks like. Um, and as you can see, as you could see, I could change the pitch of the sound by moving, um, well, changing the size of my mouth. So when you have a small um, O shape, it's low and you can change it from low to high. If you want to go lower than the lowest pitch you reach by this, you have to do uh, a, bi a bit different because, I didn't say this yet, I should have, uh, you can do this technique by um, breathing through your nose. You don't need your lungs to do it. You can just do it like... So you can hum at the same time. Um, but when you want to do it even lower than and there is another technique for this and it's also very useful to imitate um, pouring water from a bottle right you can pour water from a bottle and it sounds like it just sounds fun and just like the water drop technique um, how to do this again it's very similar because it's the same technique but the only difference here is that I open my throat. That way the volume of my mouth increases and the sound pitch will go down. So how to open your throat? Well I see a lot of people have different difficulties with understanding um, how to open your throat and how to suck in air with only your mouth and not with your lungs. So I'll try to make it as clear as possible. Um, try to do the technique while breathing through your mouth instead of your nose. Because when you do it through your nose, it sounds like But when you do it through your mouth, like even close your... If you can't do it, just close your, close your nose and try to do the technique while breathing. I think that when you do it that way, you cannot do it wrong. Um, write a comment if you cannot, still cannot do it because I have uh, curious if some people have still problems with it after this but that's how to do the low pitched technique and that's the technique my father always used to imitate the bottle um, I also learned this technique well I didn't learn it from him but I heard it first time from my father exactly like the water drop technique yep um, like I said you can use this technique to imitate a water drop how well, um, normal water drop technique, you probably saw this tutorial, it goes like but When you do it fingerless, you have to do a flicking of your tongue first I'm not that good at it because I never do it, but I saw other people who are very good at it uh, I see this tutorial is getting a bit long, so I have to hurry up um, how to put this technique in a beat? Well, um, I think just practice. Do it, do it, do it. This technique is also very hard to do a long time because uh, your tongue gets very tired. Uh, I saw some people who are very good at this technique. And they can do it at an in in incredible speed and they have an incredible stamina. Um, even after a few years of practice, um, I cannot do it much longer. And you can hear that my tongue gets very uh, tired after um, a few fast sessions like doing uh, Inspector Gadget. Uh, So 
so you just have to practice this all the time like when you're in in uh, in the bus on, on uh, in, the, in the car on the cycle you can always do it because you can breathe at the same time which is a very good thing for a technique um, practice this that's all there's to it uh, in the beginning this is going to be a very hard technique because you won't be able to produce uh, much sound so that's the problem um, but you will eventually so keep trying keep keep to it um, just like everything in beatboxing practice 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 because it is not going to be something that's easy in the beginning but when you get it down it's worth it all right so if you have any questions just ask me and I'll try to answer them as good as possible and well hopefully I'll see you soon in another technique another tutorial I mean of another technique <laughs> so um, goodbye and see you soon another one from dash aka <coughs> dash devil